Welcome to our quarantine cooking session. We are in Quizinicity's kitchen and today we're making cat's flax crisps, which are a family favorite here. Um, they are very simple, our healthy version of a Rice Krispie treat. That way the kids have something really delicious to eat. They don't even know that it's healthy and it's really fun to make while we're all cooped up in this crazy time. So let's get started. Only five simple ingredients. The first ingredient is honey. We're gonna heat that up for just one minute on the stove. Make it nice and warm, and then we're gonna blend that in with the peanut butter. While that's cooking up, heating up, we're gonna mix in the Rice Krispie cereal, or the brown rice crisp cereal. So this is a healthier version. Um, this one is organic from Barbara's. I'm sure that you can find that easily in the store. We're gonna put that in this big bowl. This is five cups. Very simple. It's almost all of the bag, but not quite all of it. And we're gonna add to it this flax meal, which is so healthy, so great for your body, really good nutrients, omega-3 and legunas. <laughs> and we're gonna add that in. We're just gonna blend that all together. And my hands are clean, trust me. I've washed them a million times today and I washed them right before I started this because we do not want to spread germs. The kids will have so much fun doing this. All right, the honey I think is perfectly warm. We're gonna add in the peanut butter. We're gonna turn off the stove. And add in the peanut butter. And this is organic peanut butter. No other ingredients, just peanuts. No salt or sugar added. Just simply healthy ingredients. Also, this recipe is amazing because you don't even have to cook it. It takes all of 10 minutes, and then you just leave it in the freezer for 10, 10 extra minutes, and then it's ready to go. It's gonna make 30 little granola bars. So it's so fun. The hot honey will mix in with the peanut butter to make it nice and creamy. Then we're gonna stir that all together. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit longer. Oh, always fun cooking with my mom when I'm home, no matter what the occasion is. We are definitely testing out all of her recipes because we have lots of time. <laughs> and we're trying to stay healthy and keep ourselves occupied instead of stressing when it's very easy to stress. All right, so I think that this is ready. The honey and the peanut butter are all mixed. Looks really fun. Just about, and then we're gonna mix it all together. Let's, see, let's just do a little bit more, it's a little bit clumpy. <laughs> okay. Now, we're gonna pour it into here. So that's gonna be with the brown rice cereal and the flax meal, which is just ground up flax seeds. And this is the fun part. What? Oh, the spatula? First, we're gonna start with the spatula. And, oh, to get the last little bit of this. In the background, I have my mom really telling me what to do. downstairs we're hearing Natalia singing it's just it's a crazy house here all right we're gonna start mixing it just with the spatula but then oh or with this big spoon that is conveniently located here <laughs> just for me <laughs> that's easier all right so right now it doesn't look like much but trust me it is gonna turn into a masterpiece now, it's a little bit stirred up. We're gonna get in there with my hands. This is when kids will just go crazy. They're gonna be like, really, I'm allowed to do this? <laughs> and they are because they're creating a delicious, healthy recipe. <laughs> Feels good, kind of therapeutic. <laughs> It's just about all mixed in. And the last ingredient, which I have to figure out again, <laughs> which 
should have had it over here in the first place. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Our, our chocolate chips <laughs> will appear. I can't, the kids usually do that. So, <laughs> these chocolate chips are actually vegan, which makes this whole recipe vegan, um, which is really nice. It's the type of diet that you're going for. Um, we make it vegan because we try to always reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible and eat as little animal products as possible. So now it's all mixed in with some nice chocolate chips. The chocolate chips get a little bit melty still from that warm honey and peanut butter. And very simple. Then the last step will just be putting it in the pan and pat, 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 flattening it so that it's nice and flat. Then we're going to put it in the freezer. All right, now I have to get all of this off my hands. I'm going to wash my hands. I don't want to waste any of it because it's so delicious. I'm going to probably eat six or seven of these later on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need to wash my hands no, because you don't. I'm gonna put my hands right back in. That's right, I was wondering. So now we're gonna put it in here in this little tin. See how simple that is? And we're gonna flatten it with our hands once again. Make it nice and good. <clears throat> One thing that helps at the end mm -hmm. is to have the kids have their hands a little bit damp mm -hmm. at the end, and then you really press it. They love to do that part, and before you put it in the in the refrigerator or the freezer, because then they'll all be the same thickness, and the hand won't stick. So maybe let's get a little bit of water on these sticky hands. Right. <laughs> Yeah, don't dry them completely, just kind of... Rinse off. Yeah, yeah rinse yeah. off. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's a little bit yes. easier to right? Now we're going to make it nice and even. Yes. So just uh, Look at all that. aligned. Look at that. Just a delicious little granola bar. You can see how simple that is. And what, you're going to cut them? And we're going to put and them in the freezer first. And then cut them. Just... And it's going to make 30. Wow. All right. So we'll come back and see how they look later on. And for now, just stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.